Larson, left side, a three for the tie, good, good, and we're going into overtime. Yeah, you know, Tyler Larson was a first first league all um, summit player, uh, led the league in rebounding at 6-3, was sixth in scoring and sixth in assists. And Brandon Boss was a 1,200 point scorer and James Hunter was playing really good basketball the last 10 games of the year when we were playing our best. And so I'm not sure that you just plug a guy in to replace each of those three. I think we got to do it by committee. Uh, we have some new guys that are going to help, but we got to really look within. Trey Burnett has great game experience last year. Casey Kasserbauer, Eric Robertson. Uh, those three guys really got to step up their game and then our new guys will fill in the pieces around them. We have high expectations just like every year. Um, I think the biggest thing is that we lose over half our scoring. So that means that A, we got to have other guys step up in the scoring column. And then B, we got to be that much better on defense. I think those are the two things we're focusing on right now is we got a lot of guys that are trying to step up and fill that scoring void. But at the same time, we got to focus a lot more on defense. Our seniors are always the pillar of our program. And uh, in no particular order, Casey Kasserbauer um, is just a rock for our team. He's a tremendous leader. He's like another coach on the floor. Um, he's, <laughs> he's always coming to our coaching staff with, with new ideas. And in game, he just thinks so clearly. Um, probably the best shooter I've coached in my, this is my 20th year now in coaching. You just feel like anywhere he's got it, when it's going up, it's going, got a chance to go in. Left side, Casey for a three in the lead. Good! Trey Burnett was a member of the newcomer All-League team last year, really came on the last half of the year, which a lot of junior college guys do. Um, just a versatile guy. He's improved in the offseason um, in a lot of different areas, and, and he needs to have a big year for us. Well, I don't really have any personal goals. I just want to work as a team and um, make the Summer League tournament, I mean, make the tournament cut down the nets. We just want to keep putting our program on the up and up and keep striving for greatness and give everybody something to build off for the next upcoming seasons. We want to leave a legacy of a bunch of winners. I know that's something that us seniors talk about all the time is that we can't make any excuses because we have to own what we have right now and just make the most of our opportunity. I love our freshman class, uh, Dan Jack, Tyler Hagedorn, and Tyler Borchers. I think those guys will make an impact early on. Uh, Shai McClellan is going to be a guy, a guard that's going to have to play major minutes for us, and he's really a versatile guy that can play a lot of different positions. We're excited for the year like everybody is right now. It's a, it's a great group to coach. A lot of new faces. We have seven new faces in our program. Uh, ten total that never saw the floor last year with three other guys redshirting. So uh, we have high expectation for our guys. We have high expectations for our program. And uh, we're chomping at the bit to get started. You know, I'm a history major, and that's a huge thing that drew me to this job is where we were, where we are, and where we're going. And the success that we've had over the years in this dome has been incredible. Now, it's not always the most ideal place uh, to watch a game, but it certainly has its own distinct feel and tradition. And, you know, I know towards the end of this year, there's going to be a lot of people coming back to see one more game in the dome. It's been a special place for USC basketball.